गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज अरसलान एंड यू आर वॉचिंग प्रॉपर्टेक ट्यूटोरियल एंड टूडे वील बी डीलिंग विद इंस्टॉलेशन ट्यूटोरियल गाइड फॉर अल्ट्रा आई एस ओ एंड आई होप दैट यू हैव फाउंड आर वीडियोज द ट्यूटोरियल्स बोथ द इंस्टॉलेशन एंड द हैंड्स ऑन ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड वन फ्यू वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू करियर एंड फ्यू वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू स्मार्टफोन टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स यूजफुल so if you have do hit the subscribe button and like our videos you can also share our videos with your classmates or your professional colleagues and to begin with i'll just switch to this mode and we'll start with the installation before starting with the installation i will suggest you that after you have successfully downloaded the compressed file from the link mentioned in the comment section do turn off your internet in case you have an ethernet you can also turn it off if you do not know how to turn it off you can just unplug the ethernet cable or you are as a, having a connection with the mobile usb you can also usb tethering you can just switch off the usb tethering or you can just switch off the mobile data next thing is that you have to make sure that your controlled folder access is uh, 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 disabled because um, कंट्रोल फोल्डर एक्सेस बेसिकली एन एडवर्टीजमेंट और अ मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वन ड्राइव आई एम नॉट सींग दैट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वन ड्राइव इज नॉट अ गुड एप्लीकेशन बट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वन ड्राइव आई आई पर्सनली यूज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वन ड्राइव बट इट डज नॉट मीन नेसेसरीली दैट यू हैव टू स्विच ऑन द कंट्रोल फोल्डर एक्सेस इन ऑर्डर टू यूज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वन ड्राइव सो यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव लॉकड इन ओवर हेयर एज द माइक्रो इन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वन ड्राइव बट आई डो नॉट प्रिफर टू यूज कंट्रोल फोल्डर एक्सेस The reason is that it uh, interferes with installation, even with the genuine softwares. And sometimes, when you try to download softwares from your own drives, uh, you uh, you will have a you will the computer will uh, take it as a, an external application or not from a verified source, and it will delete some of the files from your extracted folders, and that will lead to your doubling of effort or tripling of your effort. So just disable it and. you are good to go next i will open the compressed file that we have downloaded from our drive link and i'll just click on right click on and extract to and the password will be 123 so password is 123 it will be 123 unless and until it is mentioned in any of the video explicitly if it is not mentioned the password is always 123 okay you will open it and now you will see that there are three folders primarily first is directx visual c and next is ultra iso so why are these two mentioned over here because ultra iso requires directx and visual c to be installed in your system so how to know if you have installed it or you do not have it the thing is mentioned the steps is step is mentioned in the notepad file you can just refer to that and how to install in case you do not have that is also mentioned so that is i am not going to show you how to install directx and visual c++ because that will take too much time both for uninstallation and installation so i will just show you how to check if you have directx or visual c++ or not so first for directx you will just have to go in the c drive windows and in the folder windows sxs the search bar you will just type over here direct and you will see that directx d directx graphics etc is installed so this means that you have a uh, working windows and it is updated regularly and directx is something which is all which is automatically updated from your windows update section okay and visual c is also updated in the update section but it is better to check that so how do you check that you can either go in the apps and features directly and click on enter or you can just go to control panel and go in the programs and features and you can search for the microsoft visual c++ redistributable so for this we require visual c redistributable uh, Uh, the basic version and another is 2015 and 22 so i have almost all the visual c++ that are required so i do not need to follow this particular step in case you do not have either of them just follow the corresponding steps and you are good to go coming back to the installation i will just open the folder real quick so we are done with both of them now we'll switch to ultra iso that is the main motive of this video i'll right click on it 
extract to password is one two three click on enter and then i will open the folder after that you will have two things one is the file that is the exe application and another one is the crack folder so first we have to right click on it run as administrator yes and i hope that i have mentioned that the uh, net the internet and the control folder access both should be disabled for all the installation whether it is directx visual c etc etc and most importantly ultra iso siemens nx primeware etc so just click on next click on next yes i would like to create the folder next all the three should be checked and next and install it will get installed and then i will just uncheck the launch ultra iso because first i have to patch the ultra iso uh, c drive folder i will click on finish after that i will open the crack folder copy the keygen that is uh, right click on copy and then yeah the scene is okay so i will right click on copy and then i will go to the c drive or what you can do is that just press the window button type ultra and you will have ultra iso because it is installed open file location it is a shortcut i will have to click on it again open file location ultra iso is, is over here i will right click on paste and this is paste yes replace and this is continue continue okay after that what i'll do i'll just right click on it run as administrator yes and then you have to make sure that it is only one and the language is in english make a file and you are good to go i'll just launch the ultra iso for you and i will show you these installation that it is authorized to only one it is good to go after a few months uh, there might you might do a virus check for your system in the uh, windows security and it might uh, consider keygen as a as a, as a virus as a trojan or something like that but that is not the issue you it will get deleted you can just copy it and again paste it keygen and you can just right click on it and pay, uh, patch it but in my case i have been using it for almost two years i have done multiple uh, security scans and till now i do not have any issue the last scan was you know uh, the uh, just two days before and it was not uh, considered as a threat but if it is considered you do not have to do anything you just have to switch off your internet copy the keygen file from the downloaded file paste it and follow the same procedure and you are good to go so this was the video for having the installation as a best tutorial guide for installation of ultra iso and i hope that you have found our video useful and in case you have found it useful you do hit the subscribe button and comment as per your experience and for those who have contacted me on email and have found my suggestions or my troubleshooting up to the mark you may also comment on the comment section if you are yeah, okay with it so i hope we will meet in the next video and probably the next video will be for uh winrar ho gaya ultra iso ho gaya aur agla kya kare agla kar dete hain yes microsoft office will be a good thing either it will be microsoft office if i have the time for uh for it or i will be uh, uh uploading certain videos like a series of videos 10 or 12 videos regarding the use of chat gpt copilot etc and the best prompts how to how to understand the best prompts that are for chat gpt how to understand how chat gpt takes prompts like you can you can do a vast uh, variety of things with chat gpt copilot and the newest one is deep seek and uh, the main thing is to understand how chat gpt takes the input you are giving so for that there will be multiple videos like replying to emails making pictures how to use chat gpt in day to day life etc what is the best way of like what is the the uh, basic syntax for any prompt so those things will be covered in those in the in the next series of chat gpt and ai and okay and till the next time we meet goodbye